deep in the heart of the beautiful Sussex countryside, artist Geoffrey Stinton has been working on a new type of Aeolian harp. Geoffrey, recognized as a pioneer in the application of modern composites, has created new beautiful shell-shaped harps out of these very materials. Aeolian harps, named after the Greek god Aeolus, are stringed instruments sounded by the wind. As aesthetic items, they appeal to the finer senses. Being in tune with nature, they invoke an absorbing influence over those who hear and observe them. Their history and development has been dependent on the inspiration of enthusiastic craftsmen, authors and poets. The initial idea to develop a new Aeolian harp came from Lady Joanna Mersey when she commissioned one for her country home in West Sussex. Fascinated by the concept, Geoffrey spent a period of time on research. Using his imagination and ability, he produced several prototypes, and indeed, Lady Mersey's harp is now established in her garden at Bigner Park, overlooking the Downs. In Europe, during the last two centuries, Aeolian harps were generally made of wood and catgut. They were mostly found wedged in casement windows to make use of any breeze entering the home. They were also placed in grottos, summer houses, gardens and ruins. However, deterioration caused by the elements led Kastner, an Aeolian harp enthusiast from Alsace, to observe in 1856, harps that maintain themselves in a decent state in the garden have long been sought after. Geoffrey Stinton's harps fulfill this wish, being weather and UV resistant. His Aeolian harp is an imaginative example of what can be achieved when a durable material is used to make an ancient musical instrument. In using composites, Geoffrey is able to vary shape, size, color and pitch of the harps. This flexibility allows a wide variety of locations to be considered. Smaller instruments are ideal for placing indoors, where a typical height would be about one meter. Single harps or groups of harps can be placed outside to create a unique feature in any garden that is pleasing to not only the ear, but also the eye.